Hi, I'm Mackenzie Peterson, and I'm an electronics engineer at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. My name is Ogwe Ade. I am a senior at the University of Maryland College Park, and I am a psychology major and computer science minor. I am Gabe Wright. I am going to be a senior at Concordia College in Moorhead, Minnesota, and I am a math major. I was on the wearables team, so we were working with a textile to make a sweat sensor, and we were using nanomaterials such as platinum and palladium in order to do that. This will lead to making a glucose sensor in the future. My team did a good job of dividing up the work. We all kind of shared responsibility, but what I focused my efforts on was uh, evaluating the data that we collected and writing the results and conclusions based off of what we saw in the data. Our team shared a lot of the duties pretty equally. However, I mostly worked on the experimentation, actually completing the experiment with Mac, and also do, making some illustrations and working on the paper. My role in the project was mostly doing a lot of experimentation but then also being a leader and asking questions to the group to keep progressing through our, you know, between our writing and the experimenting and where should we go next. The hardest part of this project for me was as a math major trying to understand all of the different chemistry concepts that were thrown at me, uh, such as cyclic photometry and electrodeposition uh, and chemical amperometry. I think that the most challenging part of the project was that was the writing part of it because I hadn't had a lot of experience doing high level research writing before and also it was difficult to, to do that writing when it was due because of how often our project changed. That's something that I learned about real research in this program that that in our lab projects can change, ideas can change, and that makes it difficult to to write everything that we need to by a due date when everything's changing. I'd say the most challenging part about this project is to come here today and present information about what our project was without feeling like a total expert on it. However, we have been working for 10 weeks and so the learning curve of the chemistry, you know, is a very steep one, but however me and my team have made a lot of progress in learning about what nanomaterials are. From this experience, I definitely took a better sense of what grad school truly is, and with that, hopefully, I took a better sense of what I want to do in my future. For anybody coming into this program, I will tell you that you will be making connections that take months or years or even a lifetime to make, but you're going to make them in 10 weeks, from new best friends to faculty connections to networking with other institutions across the country. And it's just really amazing to be able to be exposed to these, these resources that we have here at ISU.